Hi guys. Love you, Jesus. Love you guys. Okay. I got another dream. Um, they just kept rolling, and I've had them. I am. I've shared them with prayer warriors and tried to get uh, interpretation or confirmation. I'm gonna put them out there. Any any of this sticks with you guys? Please put a comment in. So this room, this this dream, I was in a room with a whole lot of other people. And there was rows and rows of, of like park-like benches, you know, where they have the wood um, on either side and the table. And there was rows of them. And um, like when I was in Spain, there were long rows all the way down. These were sideways, horizontal. Um, and there was windows, um, large windows, panes, and the room was white. And so there's rows and rows of these benches stacked side by side, you know. Um, not long ways, but they were pretty long, so to speak. Um, and I saw like three or four rows of these benches. And everybody sat down and had robes on. Um, what color the robes? I don't really remember, but I think they were lighter than darker. That much I can remember. I remember there was a black woman that had this incredible bag. And what I mean by incredible bag, you know, like Felix the Cat, right? Kind of thing. But no, it was... It was um, a really strange material. It was thick. It was padded. It had handles on it. And you open it up like this. And then around the edging was all black. But the material itself looked like stars. It looked like when you look up at night and it's dark and you see all these stars. And it was shimmering. And you see all these different stars um, weren't moving. But they were shimmering. And shimmering different colors light green white orange you know and the sides of the bag this side that sides the handles no those were all black but there was a trim all the way around on all the edging that was black but the rest of it was this like space star material kind of thing and it was three-dimensional which was really weird um and it shined it shined it sparkled it glistened you know and she kept handing out assignments um, out of the bag. She would walk up to somebody and go, here you go, and here you go, and here's another one, and one for you, right? And the, what the assignments were were little squares, like four by four inch squares that had the piping around the outside that was black, and it had the space material um, on both sides and the edging and everything else, and it had a number on it in, in black that you could see, you know? And I saw one, and it was number five. And she handed it to somebody, but it wasn't mine. And she kept looking at me asking questions um, as she kept handing out the squares. I don't remember the questions, but um, I just answered them honestly. I go, yeah, okay, sure. And no, you know, to the best of my ability. And, uh, and she had that look on me like, just you wait. I got something really special for you, you know. And um, I am kept going, when's my assignment? Where's my number? Where's my little square? You know, and I could see, and I could hear her thoughts. Her thoughts were like, oh, man, when you see this, it's just going to knock your socks off, you know, but not yet. You know, I wouldn't say saving the best for last, but, you know, there was something. There was an intent. And I'm like, okay, you know, learn to be patient. Wait. You know, your turn will come when the time is, right? And there was, where the three or four benches were, there's another side bench. And on that was this guy. He was dressed all in black. And he kept talking about himself, boasting, you know, that really narcissistic, that I'm so great and everybody doesn't understand and I'm the only one with all the answers, you know. And I looked around the room as he stood up and he was just mouthing off, mouthing off, you know, and everybody else was just sitting there quiet, patient, getting their assignment. And this guy's boasting and, and talking about himself. And there was every wall had a picture of him. And it was either a front face or a profile left, profile right, depending on which wall. You know, and I looked around and I'm like, you've taken up every single wall with a picture of yourself. You're not leaving any room for anybody else. You know, you're kind of being selfish. You know, and when I questioned about it, he says, I just can't help it, you know. I'm just a really great looking guy and I like seeing myself everywhere. And I, you know, I went, oh man, here we go. You know, 
Mr. Wonderful, right? And everybody was just kind of, ooh, ah. And I'm just like, dude, get over yourself. You know, you're not that great. Look at Jesus. There is a somebody who could say, yeah, and he's not proud or arrogant or boastful like this guy. So you kind of get an idea of who I'm referring to without me saying it. So what does this dream mean? You tell me in the comments. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. How do I get to heaven? He's the way. Well, what's the truth? He is. There's no dishonesty or lies in him. This guy in the black suit, eh, you know. Okay, so the way, the truth, and the life. Who has eternal life? The Father has given it into Jesus' hands, right? Romans uh, 6.23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through his Son, Christ Jesus. There it is. Choose life or choose death. Um. People say, how can a loving God send me to hell? Well, he's not. You're rejecting him. You're making that choice. He's provided his son, died on the cross, you know, shed his blood, which pays the price. Because what? The wages of sin is death. So, who pays that price? Well, Jesus did on the cross, shedding his blood. Covered it, atoned it, done. In the grave for three days, and he rose again. He was glorified in a resurrected body. You know, as the first fruits, and that's our hope, you know, to show, hey, I've done it, you guys will do it, right? There's a uh, resurrection and also a changing in a twinkling of an eye. You know, just wait, it's going to be interesting. We will shine. We will shine with his glory and honor for him because we are his, his inheritance. And his inheritance to us is eternal life. But the choice is yours, right? No one comes to the Father but by him. Only name under heaven by which a man may be saved. His name, Jesus, Yeshua, interchangeable, right? Um, some would say, no, the J and the Y in English and... Okay. Are you willing to repent from the sins that you're doing and give your life to... Jesus, to Father God. Romans 12, 1. It is the reasonable service of a man to offer up his life in service to God. And since God put all authority into his son's hands on heaven and earth, then it's his son that you honor. Because many people call many names God. There is only one true God. And there is only one Son that has been given the authority and eternal life. You want eternal life? Go to Jesus. Don't know Jesus? Ask him to make himself real to you. It's for the simple to understand, but the parables were to confuse the wise. So, choose Jesus, choose life. Your choice. Anyways, love you guys. See you in the next video.